This framework will change how you solve business problems. All problems can be divided into either drama problem or math problem. Drama problems are like high attrition rate of your team or avoiding tough conversations with investors. Math problems are like which marketing channel to double down on or improving sales conversion. Hi everyone, so let's create this simple yet engaging viral reel. So first of all, what we are going to do is hit right click solid and let's select something off white and then hit OK. First, we'll be beginning with this brain image. It is coming and these bubbles are coming on. Okay, so what we are going to do is first of all, let's just, you know, brain PNG. Okay, put it over here. Okay. Now I'll head up to effects and presets, select try to and put it over here on this. Select this orange color and make it you know something like to fit. Okay. Now I'll again go to effects and presets and search for Gaussian Bluff legacy and put it on this. Then it will start the animation with scale keyframe. Go ahead one second and again it's scale keyframe. Go to the first keyframe and Oh, make it zero and it will come up like this simple as that select coat of the keyframes press f9 and then drag the handle to be left okay so now what we will be doing is simply you know select this blurriness go ahead and then hit u again make blurriness Go to the first keyframe and increase the blurriness. Okay. So write this again F9 and then drag the handle towards left. Okay, see it overshoots a little. So we have to do that. So simply just scale it up mode over here. Okay. Then corner and make it 100 and I add another keyframe, make it 100 a B. Bring this over here. So after this, the bubbles will come out. Okay. First, what we have to do, head on to this ellipse tool, shift and drag this. Okay. To make this circle. Select the fill options. Make sure it's, you know, linear gradient. Select this. And, you know, you can move your handles like this. Okay. So let's select now this pink color okay and then I'll drag these handles to give it some thin shading okay now I'll add some styling to this to make it look like our circle so first I'll bring in noise and then add this noise on it increase okay so you can see some grains inside but now right click this and layer styles and head on to develop boss okay please the size soften it okay yeah good looks like this now what we can also do is select another you know circle go to care like this okay and then Simply what we'll do is make it fill and make it a darker color and let's add Vazil blur on it again and then add some blurriness to it. Okay, then I'm going to track mat it with this and enable this too. Let's bring it over here. Mode overlay. Okay, overlay is looking good. Let's just and then increase it. Yeah. And then you can just simply what you can do is hit Ctrl D to copy it. And bring another over here and put it over here at the edges. Okay. And then and press cut on here and select color dodge. So as you can see, we have got another light pink shade at this end. Okay, so this is how you can add some, you know, different shades to your, you know, circle. Okay, and make something like this. Select this and increase this. 
okay so now you can see you have got two types of you know colors okay now we'll be pre composing them so shape layer 1 2 3 contour shift and c to resign this in circle and layer 4 5 and 6 x we comb them to green surface okay so now we have you know bought our circles now the next thing is we have to select this hit t for position and on this keyframe hit alt and right click sorry hit alt and left click of your mouse together and this will open up now right here you will then open bracket and then let's give it something like 2.20 and then select a green circle and do the same thing so i have made it minus okay now we have to simply animate this okay so as you can see it will come out from this so i'll just first you know select these two and put it below our circle scale them down from here what i'll do select these circles hit p position keyframe go ahead and then break them out like this okay select these at nine okay and then drag this to the left okay so you will get that animation so let's try this over here and so as you can see your circles have come out to make them you know numerous circles just you have to hit control d to make another and rename this to green circle 2 okay and then change its position over here something like this simply hit this okay green circle to position keyframe and then go ahead do it over here same way that pink circle to position keyframe go ahead and bring it over here now that see the animation so it comes together and becomes big okay nothing major so we have to also use our scale keyframes so i'll select t2 take shift s select scale go ahead and increase the scaling okay simple and at the same time i would bit t on my you no know, brain go ahead and make it zero opacity select tap night tap this towards the left select these two at 9 let's drag these out okay now to you know add some deformity to this circle what we can do is we can head on to turbinate this place and then put it on this circles like if you put on the pink circle okay select this offset okay let us start and click here go ahead and drag this over here okay so as you can see you are getting that bubble type of feeling okay simple as that but it ends over here so we want to continue it for a long time okay simply select this hit alt and select hit this with your left mouse button okay this part will open up now you have to type this okay time then asterisk 100 and comma time asterisk 100 so we are typing it two times because there are you know 
two parameters here okay as you can see here there are two parameters okay x and y so we are typing in two tags if we are using it in complexity let's say okay in this only where there is only one parameter so we have to only type it once but as we are using it here you want both x and y to change uh, move continuously throughout the video okay so it will be something like this okay, throughout the video it will be so now what we are going to do is simply just you know do this thing for all our you know uh, circles okay now as you can see your circles are you know moving and becoming random shapes okay like bubbles so now we have to write the text inside okay and then do this animation so new and then text and now we want it to move with the circle so simply we have to parent link this with our green circle too okay so it will move with our circle as simple as that but as you can see it comes up over here so when it comes here we need to wait t for opacity keyframe go ahead again like this make the starting keyframe zero then s9 okay so it will be something like this now fast forward this section to do the same thing with this okay now this see this will go up okay and then this animation will come in okay so this animation is very simple okay nothing too difficult on this so what has done is basically after going here okay just select this okay now what we have to do is select this green circle to and hit t and shift s select these keyframes okay then go ahead one second and then drag this up like here okay and then make the scale big let's move it up a bit more okay yeah select these and then let's you know make it left okay and when it comes here we need to begin a smaller circle so just like pink circle and pink circle alt and right bracket because we don't need it anymore okay as you can see this math is also coming up so i think there's a fault here okay make it none and then panning link it to okay and then this part is going down okay so let me just give you an example how it's done so i just bring this okay mask this out because we don't need three we need only two we need only one for this and now we are going to select this green circle to make it green first i'll like fill and put it on this then let's make it green or you can make a simple green but let's do this type of grief okay now this is simple animation okay so these will come in and that it will go out okay so simple you no know, scale up so just try here so just down here okay what we are going to do is first we need to move the you know anchor points down so and it y and it y and drag it over here select this take the y drag it over here like this and like y and drag it over now it's simple scale animation for me so it just go to your 
this the images hex scale go ahead and i mean let's scale properties go to the first keyframe and make them to zero okay so it will come up like this Click f9 and then drag this towards the left okay so you'll make this animation simple as that and then using again position keyframe this will go out and okay okay so i'll continue this part okay this green circle part in the next video which is part two of this animation so hit that like button and let's aim for 400 likes and then i can start making this second part of the video see you in the next one